A verdict is reached today in the trial of two men accused in a 2015 New Year's Eve murder. Angel Acevedo and Aaron Bookman are accused of killing 24-year-old Aaron Grant Jr. in New Bedford. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh was in court for the verdict and has the latest now live from Fall River. Kate? Well, Mike and Shannon, after about a four-week trial, it took the jury just about three hours this afternoon to come back with the verdict. And we were inside Fall River Superior Court this morning for closing arguments. Aaron Bookman and Angel Acevedo tried together and both found guilty of first degree murder in the shooting death of 24 year old Aaron Gant on New Year's Eve night 2015 in New Bedford. In closing arguments Wednesday, both defendants' attorneys tried appealing to the jury, saying there were no eyewitnesses or murder weapon and reason for doubt that they did it. Is it about DNA? Of course not. There's no DNA in the case. With regard to uh, written statements, Mr. Bookman's statements. Did he write out a statement? Did he sign a statement? No. He made a statement. It was after arrest? No. It was a voluntary statement. Bookman is accused of shooting the gun. His attorney said he covered for someone else in making a statement to police. Acevedo is accused of driving the car as the shots were fired from it. His lawyer saying there's no proof he knew what was going to happen. If you're sitting in the passenger seat of my car and I'm driving, and you do something, does that immediately make me a part of a plan? The state said this could have been a, quote, perfect murder. No cooperative witnesses, no weapon, no car linked to New Bedford. But there was something left behind. There's an electronic fingerprint. We live in a world where maybe a, 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 a lot of us don't even realize how much what we're walking by surveillance cameras or with our phones that we can be detected. In the end, the jury sided with the state. And new at 6 tonight, find out why the prosecutors and the attorneys said cases like this are especially difficult. Live in Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Also breaking tonight, jurors found two men guilty in a deadly shooting that happened in New Bedford on New Year's Eve 2015. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh was in court for closing arguments and the verdict. She joins us now live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom with the breaking details. Kate? Well, Mike and Shannon, just about three hours after a four-week trial and the jury came back with the verdict determining the fate of the two suspects. We were inside court this morning for closing arguments. First degree murder for both Angel Acevedo and Aaron Bookman. A jury found them guilty of the shooting death of 24 year old Aaron Gant on New Year's Eve night 2015 in New Bedford. The result of an apparent ongoing dispute between gangs from the south end and west end of the city. All these years, everyone says the troubles, no cooperation, don't talk to the police, don't be a snitch. The prosecution and defense attorneys mentioned witnesses lying on the stand, others afraid to provide information, not willing to cooperate. I would suggest to you a voluntary statement that ultimately is to cover his rear end and quite possibly, quite possibly to cover for, to cover for someone else. Bookman's attorney saying there was reasonable doubt his client pulled the trigger. Acevedo saying no solid evidence his client planned to drive the car when the shots were fired at Gant. The cell phone towers place it in various areas, but the cell phone towers are not precise. Ultimately, the jury sided with the state who said technology helped them create a digital fingerprint of the suspects at the scene. Now, this first degree murder sentence is life without parole mandatory, but the official sentencing is tomorrow here at Fall River Superior Court at 9 in the morning. Live in Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.